Guys, on today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to update your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad into iOS 8.3. So that just came out. Um, I know the beta version was available a few months ago. However, right now, finally, they got it down. Now, this fixes some glitches, but the main um, thing that they did was with the photos. Okay, so photos will be a little bit different. Also, you can update your Mac today, and you will see that photos. Uh, it's a new app will replace iPhoto. Now you can back up all your photos um, on iCloud or you can just use um, like before just photo stream and just share your photos through um, kind of iPhoto but it's called photos now. So that's that's the little difference. Um, besides there's a bunch of glitches that they have fixed and there's a few little new ones but anyways that's how it is. Um, so first of all what I want you guys to do on your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch Okay, you're gonna go into settings, and on settings, I want you guys to look for iCloud. Okay, so on iCloud, I want you guys to make a backup. Now, for these type of backups, um, these are short ones. They're not that the best type of backups. I want you guys to also make one on iTunes. So hook up your stuff to your computer, open up iTunes, and do a backup there. So that's your secondary backup. This is your first backup, then your secondary backup. Just in case something goes wrong and you need to restore your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So on backup, just go there. Make sure it's on, so make sure it's green like this. Right now I'm doing a backup, so right now where you see cancel backup, that's where you have to tap and say backup now. Okay, so right now I'm still waiting for minutes till it does the whole backup. However, if it's something like that for minutes, don't worry, you can always go back. Go into general. Under general, you're going to go into software update. And there you can see 8.3. So um, it always downloads before you, you install it. So this will take some time. Although it's not that big, I would take at least, if you have a slow internet, just take 30 minutes. So, so approximately 30 minutes, okay? Although it will take way shorter than that, just make 30 minutes for it to do its stuff, okay? So just click on download and install. Now this is just like all the other updates. It's gonna download, then you can choose install. So at this point I wouldn't uh, recommend using your phone. Have your battery at least, at the very least, 50%. Uh, okay, I always recommend having your phone plugged into an electrical output because if it does die uh, when it's installing, uh, not really downloading, but installing the software, things go bad, okay? And then you have to do a whole restoration thing, which is not a huge deal, but still, it's annoying. Anyways, um, for this update, like I said, you, you will see some changes. No huge ones, you'll get used to them right away, it's just with the photos type of thing and a few other ones that you'll see but they're just small, nothing huge, okay? Um, once again, make those two backups or at the very least do the um, iCloud backup that I just told you about and um, for your photos, if you have that turned off like you should, you should just transfer them through photo stream. just make sure your photos are backed up as well at this point, okay? Um, besides that, guys, you will get your black screen, okay? Whether this the same thing, iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, same thing, you'll get a black screen, Apple logo, white screen, then you'll get the little bar loading up, okay? So, you will get that bar, it'll take you pretty much, on average, it should not take you more than 10 minutes, However, slow internet, 30 minutes. So be prepared for those 30 minutes of the, doing the whole process. However, uh, for normal times, you're looking at 10 minutes max. Okay, so that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys want any help, if you got stuck or something happened, leave your comment here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.